Welcome to the Kansas Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website where you registered. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter from Missouri Southern University. Well, good morning. My name is Jennifer Shaw. I am an admissions counselor with Missouri Southern State University, and I am joined by Whitney Dunbar, another representative from Missouri Southern. Missouri Southern currently offers our students, if I can get this to advance, I may not be able to. Uh, there we go. Uh, Missouri Southern currently offers our students over 140 program options. They're all quality options with professors who not only have the experience teaching in the classroom, but the majority of them have the experience working out in their fields as well. For example, in criminal justice, we have a blood splatter um, expert who works over there. In our biology department, we have a cardiologist who, who is from Russia and she shares her knowledge with our students. So what that does is it brings that real world experience to our classrooms to help you as a student become successful in the classroom and successful in your life as well. Our top five majors at Missouri Southern are biology, business, criminal justice, health sciences, and teacher education. Specific to Missouri Southern, we offer our students the, the opportunity to participate in some unique programs. Our industrial engineering technology program prepares our students to go out into the workforce to do quality control, to solve problems, to manufacture, to work with your hands. And our students have actually saved local corporations hundreds of thousands of dollars um, in profit loss and helped gain that profit back. Healthcare administration is a fairly new degree to Missouri Southern, but it is a fast growing and probably the most popular one that we have currently. Healthcare administration is a growing field and offers top salaries for those who enter it. It blends a combination of communication skills, business, and of course healthcare to prepare students to go out and work in the healthcare administration fields without being the clinical side of things, if that makes any sense. Musical theater is a new degree at Missouri Southern too. It blends the best of music along with theater. Uh, it gives the students a unique opportunity to blend those together and to go out and to work successfully in the workforce. Our environmental health and safety program is one of 30 nationally accredited programs in the United States. What does that mean to you as a student? It means that you are taught what you need to be taught, but also you are able to apply for federal government level positions that require that accreditation, so it's very important. We also offer an EMT and paramedic course, which prepares our students to either earn a certificate or to go on and earn their bachelor's degrees. Students have the opportunities to participate in ambulance simulations. We have two ambulance simulators on campus and to work with patients who uh, will be going through the same things that we will if we're in an emergency situation. So you learn that in the lab and are able to take that into the workforce. We also offer an unmanned aircraft system certificate, which is basically a certificate to fly a drone. Our students learn how to fly that drone. They learn how to create a drone and design a drone. Um, and it's a, it's a nine hour credit program. So it goes fall, spring and summer, and then you have that certification. At Missouri Southern, we really believe in student success and we want our students to be successful. So in order to do that, we provide a wide variety of options for our students to help you. Uh, from our advising, counseling, and testing office, which helps with enrollment, they help advise you if you're not sure what you wanna do uh, with your career, career goals, they're there to help. Career services, if you're interested in working on campus, they have a Hire a Lion uh, website, which offers two to 300 job postings. Um, and you can go in there and check that as a student, as an alum, it's a great resource for you. First year experience will help you along your journey. Student success is available. If you have little roadblocks along the way, they're there to help. Project Stay is there to help those who are first generation college students. It builds a family oriented atmosphere for you, kind of a support group. They have scholarships available as well. And then our Lion Co-op. Um, we found that sometimes students um, have food insecurities and things of that nature. So they're there to help you as well. I am going to turn the program over to Whitney Dunbar now, and she will tell you about financial aid. 
All right, thank you, Jennifer. So we'll be running through this pretty fast. Um, I just wanted to make a quick announcement about FAFSA now that it is finally open, yay. Uh, even if you weren't planning on taking out loans, you do still have to have a FAFSA on file with us in order to accept any scholarships. The priority deadline is Feb February 1st. All right, so for all of our Kansas residents, uh, you guys get our in-state tuition through our Lion Pride. So it's just another way that Missouri Southern tries to help save you all a little bit of money. And this again shows you um, our in-state slash Lion Pride tuition. Um, this is gonna be for this next year. It's about 248.70 per credit hour. And we already do the math for you for the full year. So looking at 30 credit hours for the year with Missouri Southern comes out to be a little under 7,500. Uh, with room and board on top of that at 6,500, you could be all in with us for your full first year at about 14,000. We have brand new scholarships to offer. And when I say brand new, I mean these don't even have names just yet. But we wanted to go ahead and announce those to you all so you could use these to set goals for yourself. Um, they are based on your ACT and your GPA score, and they'll be posted online on our website here soon. And we've got other scholarships as well. I'm running out of time here, so I want to get to um, letting you guys know how to apply to Missouri Southern. You can skip ahead. Awesome. So if you guys are interested in applying, just go to our website, send us your transcripts and your test scores. And then um, just meet one of our three qualifications and we'll get you admitted. Thank you all. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Fort Hayes State University. Good morning. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. My name is Kyle Stack and I'm an admissions counselor here at Fort Hayes State University. Um, we want to start this morning by showing those of you who are not sure, uh, you know, where we're at exactly where Fort Hayes State is located. So where you see um, our tiger mascot here is where Fort Hayes State is located. We're about 90 miles uh, west of Salina, right along I-70, so you can't miss us. As far as campus size, Fort Hayes State has a total enrollment of right around 16,000 students at 15,908. Now, with that being said, uh, the amount of students on our campus here in Hayes is right around 4,500 students. We've got about 7,000 in our virtual college, FHSU Online, and then about another 4,500 students in our international partnerships. So what that means for you as the student is class sizes that range from about 20 to 25, um, which is probably similar to what a lot of you are used to. Your professors are gonna know who you are, they're gonna know your name, help you get an internship, help you find a job, and help you through your entire college career. From an academic perspective, we have over 60 majors and minors on our campus. As you can see from the, the slide in front of you here, that is spread out over five different colleges on our campus. Um, if you know what you're interested in or want to explore all that we have to offer at Fort Hayes, you can visit the link um, here at the bottom of this slide and explore all of those five colleges and, and any of the 60 different academic uh, departments that we have on campus. So let's talk uh, cost for just a second here. For those of you that are Kansas residents, we, which we assume is most of you, uh, we are proud to offer the lowest tuition rate in the state of Kansas for four-year institutions. Um, so at Fort Hayes, we break our costs down into to three major categories. Our first being tuition and fees. Where you see tuition and fees at $5,449.20, that's actually for 30 credit hours on our campus, which is a full year and actually more than you're required to take in that full year to be a full-time student. Our second category is room and board, where you see $8,374. That is for a full year, uh, a room in McMidas Hall, which is one of our main freshman residence halls, and our open access meal plan, which is our unlimited meal plan here on campus. Lastly, we've got books and supplies, which uh, are average for a year for all of our incoming students is right at about $600, um, which is down over the last couple of years. So we're proud to get that number down to right about $600 for the entire year. So all in at Fort Hayes State with tuition fees, room and board, books and supplies, we're at $14,429 for the year. And that's obviously pre-scholarship, pre-financial aid, um, any type of assistance whatsoever. 
So next we'll talk about our automatic Tiger Freshman Scholarships. Those are exactly what they sound like. Um, you'll see the four different tiers below. These are the four scholarship programs that we offer to our incoming Tiger Freshmen. Um, today, if you're interested in seeing what scholarship you're eligible for, or if you actually want to plug in your scores and accept your scholarship today before you're admitted, you can use the QR code in the top right corner of this screen. You'll use the scholarship estimator to put in your ACT or SAT score and your GPA. We use a combination of both to determine which of these four scholarships you're eligible for. These four scholarships are renewable for an additional three years. So if you're a student on our campus, you'll get this money every single year that you're a Tiger. We're also proud that this year we are able to super score your ACT scores and give you even more access to scholarship money with Fort Hayes State. A couple other scholarship opportunities we want to touch on here before we move on is our Access to Academic Opportunity Grant. Um, this grant is geared towards first generation college students and is a yearly renewable scholarship. We're also proud to be a Rudd Foundation scholarship partner. Um, you apply for this scholarship through the Rudd Foundation and if you're chosen as one of the Rudd Scholars for the year, it is a bottom dollar scholarship. So they are going to pay for anything that you have remaining after scholarships and financial aid are applied, they'll cover the rest of the total cost. And then lastly on this slide, you'll see the Fort Hayes State University General Scholarship application. This is everything else that we offer at Fort Hayes State, whether that be um, through our foundation or our alumni or academic departments, and that does come with a priority deadline of November 15th. So seniors um, that are in our, our presentation today, make sure you get admitted and have access to that uh, scholarship application. So briefly here, we want to touch on where you're going to live when you're on campus. As you can see from this slide, we have a wide variety of living options for you at Fort Hayes State. We have actually built five new residential halls in the last eight years, and those range um, in a wide, from, wide variety from McMidas Hall to Victory Village to some of our suite and apartment style living options. So we have a ton of different opportunities for you to live on campus. Outside of the classroom, we want to highlight a few things. The first of those being athletics. So we are NCAA Division II. We have nine men's and nine women's intercollegiate athletic teams, and we compete in the MIAA. Um, we have football and basketball, volleyball, wrestling that all charge ad admission to their events. As a student here at Fort Hayes State, you do not have to pay admission to any of those events. You're in 100% for free using your Tiger card, which is your student ID. Next, we want to hit on clubs and organizations. We have over 120 clubs and organizations on our campus. That could be anything from academic clubs and organizations to some that are just for fun. As you'll see here on this slide, we've highlighted our FHSU eSports club and organization. Um, now this is actually now a competitive eSports team and another great way for students to gain some scholarship money on our campus. So kind of in wrapping up here, these last couple slides, we wanna talk about our visit opportunities at Fort Hayes State. We are open for visits, whether that be in-person or virtual. Um, we'd love for you to come see us, come sit down with an admissions counselor, take the full tour of campus, meet with your academic department and get all of your questions answered. We also have some great events going on this fall in our Tiger Days throughout the year. So we would love to see you anytime you get a chance to come see us on campus. And that's actually the first step of this Tiger checklist, which is what we'll kind of leave you with here. This checklist will get you um, for where you're at right now until you're ready to walk onto our campus and, and go to class. So come visit us, send us your scores and apply for admission. And then our office will step in and help you along the rest of the way until we get you enrolled um, and you're ready to go to class. Um, so thank you guys again for coming to see us today. We'd appreciate it if you would follow us on social media, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and get all of the updates um, that we have coming from Tiger Nation. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Wichita State University. And a reminder to send in your Q&A questions at any time. Thank you, and welcome to Wichita State University's presentation. My name is Tara Park, and I will be walking you through these next six minutes. So why Wichita State? Let's see, there we go. We have roughly 16,000 shockers on our campus, 70 majors, 230 areas of study, and 90% of our classes have 49 or fewer students. And the closer you get to your major, the smaller your class sizes are. So our average class size is 19 students to one faculty member. So it's just about the same size as a high school classroom. We are one of the most affordable universities in the state of Kansas. Our location gives us a lot of benefits. So we are in the largest city here in the state of Kansas. So we have the I-35 corridor running right through, um, and then we have access to I-70 um, when you make your way up the road. We do have a lot of applied learning, so I'll kind of discuss that here in a little bit. We are the most diverse campus in the state of Kansas. So a lot of our students come from different demographics and then we also have a lot of different international students from different countries. 
As far as student involvement goes, we'll kind of touch on that as well for what we are hosting here on campus and what we'll continue to host. And then our outcomes, we actually have the largest graduation to job placement rate in the state of Kansas at 78%. So we're not just following our students through their collegiate year, we're also following them post graduation to make sure that they're getting that job that they went to college for. And then we also have our innovation campus right here on our beautiful campus and we'll also touch on that a little bit more. So let's go ahead and dive into what applied learning means. So when we are talking about applied learning, we have the largest career development center in the state of Kansas. We're helping our students build resumes, do mock interviews, and helping our students find internships within their anticipated majors. And a majority of the internships that come out of Wichita State are paid internships. So our students are getting a paycheck while going to school. A couple of examples here, we did host over 2200 internships on campus last year and our students made an $8.15 million wage. And then on top of that, we had over 1100 internship opportunities with over 500 companies and our students made a $4.9 million wage. So looking at the pictures here, some of those internship opportunities can be in NASA. So in that upper left hand corner there, a recent grad, his name is Lucas Webb, he was an aerospace engineering major, did a 10 week internship with NASA in California last summer. Um, we can also go to Disney. So if you go right below that, Charlotte Rippey, she wanted to be an Imagineer. So she got that internship at Disney. And then if you look in the middle there, that student, her name is Jocelyn. And what she did was she got her, um, excuse me, her bachelor's degree in um, entrepreneurship. She created her own company here in Wichita where her company will go and do all of the maintenance and car detailing for all the companies around Wichita. And what's really cool is her company is expanding. So not only is she a Wichita grad, she's also starting up her own company. And she got some of that funding here at Wichita State by winning a new ventures competition where she got $10,000 to help start up her business. We also have a couple of major hospitals here. So our nursing uh, program and dental hygiene program are top notch. Um, and then if you're also into maybe the local news stations or maybe you're looking at journalism or communication as a major, we have those opportunities right here within Wichita. So how do you join Shocker Nation? Well, our application is live at wichita.edu slash apply. All students have to have is a 2.25 unweighted GPA and we changed it to an OR status, so we are test optional. So you can have a 21 ACT or a 1080 on your SAT. Um, if you don't meet any of those requirements, we do have a holistic review. There is a $40 application fee. However, if you are on a free or reduced lunch, we do waive those fees. So just make sure that your counselor sends us those uh, waive application fees for us. And then you can self-report your grades, freshman through junior year, your senior class schedule, submit any ACT or SAT scores that you may have already have accomplished and then continuing on in the fall. So let's go ahead and talk about what our shockers are actually doing on campus. So we have over 300 student organizations and clubs. 60 of those are academic organizations, and then the rest um, can be anything that maybe piques your interest. So we have a Shocker Racing Club where they build their own race cars and compete in competitions. We also have an eSports team that has four varsity teams. We celebrate some really random things on campus. So we rent a camel every semester on a Wednesday for students to ride a camel on hump day. We also have a napping club. So you'll see that student there in the middle picture. What's really cool is our napping club found a grant. So who would have thought that our napping club could be fully funded, but they took that grant money and they bought hammocks for our students to take naps outside. Our students, we also like to kind of toot our horn that we are a D1 university who gives our students free athletics and fine arts performance tickets. So we want to make sure that our students are getting involved right here on our beautiful campus. So we do have some scholarship opportunities. So let's kind of jump back into the academic side. Um, we do have a what's called a freshman merit scholarship and you are applying for that when you apply to our institution. So those students can receive anywhere from two to $4,000 per year and it's renewable. So we wanna make sure that our students are automatically qualifying for those scholarships and you have to be admitted to Wichita State by November 1st. But we all also have some really cool scholarship competitions for our students to compete in. We do give away three $64,000 scholarships just through admissions alone. So we wanna make sure that our students are getting their college paid for. So let's just break that down. That's $16,000 per year. That's a lot of money. We also have some other scholarship competitions for our students within certain academic majors. 
We do have a couple of pretty popular majors. So that's aerospace engineering. We have a really great Barton School of Business, Fine Arts, Criminal Justice, Education, Health Professions. I know I'm running out of time. We also have some three beautiful housing opportunities for our students to live in, Shocker Hall, the Flats, and the Suites. So with all of that, I know that I'm running out of time, some travel opportunities. Look for those, our innovation campus, and we are hosting campus visits. We have hosted them since June. We also have virtual campus visits where you can get much more of the information than I could give you today. So thank you for joining and we hope that you join Shocker Nation. Thank you. Next we'll be hearing from Pittsburgh State University. There we go. My apologies. Good morning. I am Brandy Brenner from Pittsburgh State University. If you're unfamiliar with Pittsburgh State, we are located in the southeast corner of the state, almost to the Missouri line. Um, if you would like to get contact information from our university, please feel free to scan the QR code in the upper left hand corner of your screen, or you can ask questions and Dana will get on those to answer those. Pittsburgh State is a Division II school. We are home to about 6,600 students on campus with a student to faculty ratio of 22 to 1. We have over 100 different programs and majors to choose from and almost 200 different clubs for student organizations. Our freshman admission requirements um, for the 2021 uh, or the 2021-22 academic year will be a 2.25 GPA on a four-point scale or in composite ACT score of 21 or higher. Within our university, we have four different colleges, that being the College of Arts and Sciences, College of Business, College of Education, and the College of Technology. Within our College of Technology are some unique programs that include our automotive technology program as well as our construction management and a plastics engineering technology program as well. Um, within our College of Education, we have our Health and Human Performance and Recreation, which is home to our Recreational Therapy Program, as well as Exercise Science, um, which can be used as a pre-med major as well. Cost of attendance, that's really what everybody's looking at. Um, for a full-time student in-state, it's going to be $37.52 a semester. That is inclusive of all standard tuition and fees for your students, um, that being our parking fee, activity fee, athletic fee, um, so that you can go to the rec center, as well as our student health service fee along with that. So basically what that amounts to is once you hit that fourth class, um, whether you take four classes or you take seven classes, you're paying the same rate. So it allows our students to double major, graduate early, or take classes of leisure. So if you want to take that hip-hop dance class, you want to take a ceramic class, you want to take a photography class, go ahead and take it. The only additional cost to you is going to be the cost of a book. Uh, books and supplies, we do at, recommend that you estimate for about $500 a semester. However, with students printing their textbook, you can usually mitigate that cost and reduce it as well. Residence Hall will run you about $4,000 a semester, so a total of about $8,000 for the year. Um, that's going to include a meal plan as well. So with, it, with Pittsburgh State, we do require all incoming freshmen living more than 50 miles away from campus to reside in one of our residence hall and purchase a meal plan. We have two different setups for our campus living. The yellow um, on the map designates those that are traditional dorm style where it's a double occupancy room and uh, one bathroom per hall. The red ones designate suite style. You have your own room. You share a bathroom with a roommate and there's usually four people in that um, suite where they share a common living area. Scholarships. Um, our scholarship application is packaged into our admission application, so do keep that in mind. Um, if you are an exceptional student with at least a 3.5 GPA and a 28 ACT, we highly encourage you to apply to our Honors College. Um, we select 30 a year to join the Honors College, and if you are one of those um, 
attendees, you can receive an annual scholarship of up to $9,500 and a one-time study abroad stipend of $2,000. Keep in mind that the, the priority deadline for Honors College, the application deadline, is January 15th, and you must already be admitted as a PS student. Other students or other scholarships that are, are awarded based on ACT and GPA are your Academic Achievement Award. We also have the Valedictorian Award, Diversity Scholarships, Alumni Legacy Scholarships, and various campus-wide and departmental scholarships as well. Consideration deadline for those are February 1st. So FAFSA is open. It opened October 1st. Uh, fill it out. Fill it out early. Our code is 001926. If you have any questions regarding financial aid and your qualifications for that, visit fafsa.edu.gov or call our financial aid office or email them at finaid at pittstate.edu. As far as athletic goes, we do have 10 varsity programs that we participate in. Um, we are the winningest Division II football team within the division. We have had eight football championship berths and four titles. We have a fantastic cross country and track team holding multiple titles within the MIAA as well. Um, campus involvement, we do have over 150 different student-led organizations, clubs, or activities for you to join. Uh, some of my favorites are Pit Knit. It's a knitting club on the campus. They knit things for the NICU, they knit them for the homeless shelter, as well as different other entities and organizations. Uh, hammocking is another club that I think is pretty cool, so similar to Wichita State Snapping Club. Uh, hammocking club strings up hammocks around campus and are able to hang out, study, and just relax. So if there is something that you're interested in and we do not have a formal club for it, um, get a few friends together, find a sponsor, and you can definitely start a club um, or activity for that. Application process is online. It is a $30 application fee. We do need a self-reported GPA as well as a self-reported ACT. We will need those final official transcripts and documentation upon completion of your senior year of high school. Like I said, our scholarship application is packaged into our admission application, so do keep that in mind as well when you start to go and do that application process. So interested in visiting a campus, or visiting our campus, go to admission.pittstate.edu, click on visit campus. We offer virtual tours, we offer in-person campus tours as well. We've been having those since mid-July. Um, they are available Monday through Friday, and we do include an academic visit with that visit as well. So we do have Rumble in the Jungle coming up on Wednesday. So if you have not registered for that, please do so to get more information about Pitt State and your attendance. If you have questions, feel free to type those into the Q&A and we'll get those answered. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lastly, we'll be hearing from Washburn University. And just a reminder to keep sending in those Q&A questions. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming today. My name is Maddie Brockelman, um, and I am the admissions counselor for South Central Kansas, um, Wichita, and Oklahoma. Um, I'm also here with Paige Vander Linden. Um, she's going to be in the chat. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to um, go ahead and message her, um, as well as um, at the end of the slide, you can um, always email the admissions office as well. Your presentation is in like presenter mode where we can see the next slide. Oh, how do I fix that? Um, might be, yeah, maybe. Did I get it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. Thanks for telling me. Wow. No problem. Perfect. Okay. So, why Washburn? Okay, facts about Washburn. So, um, at Washburn University, we have about um, 6,500 students. Um, the average class size is about 30 students or less. Um, I was a student at Washburn and an alumni, so um, I will say it's about 15 to 25, 30 students. So, that was always really nice. 
Um, we do have a 12 to a 1 student faculty ratio. Um, and with that being said, we are a teaching institute. So all the faculty um, and staff are able to teach a student one on one. We're not um, we're not a research institute. So as a student, that was definitely very helpful. I always felt like I got um, the help that I needed, whether it was in math or English or anything. Um, they were always there for me. So um, I did appreciate that. Um, and we do have 96 percent of our faculty um, with the highest degree in their field. So. Um, in terms of our educational programs, we have about 200, um, and then we are a Division II athletics, and then every year we award about $53 million in scholarships and financial aid. So we will talk a little bit more about some scholarship opportunities later. All right, 125 student organizations. Um, with that being said, there is um, six sororities, um, five fraternities, and then we do have multicultural sororities and fraternities as well. I mean, those are starting to be um, quite popular, so I'm sure in the next few years we'll get um, a few more, but those are definitely something that we're able to see on our campus, and it's really nice, especially for um, the diversity portion. Um, in terms of athletics, um, you can see listed, we have a handful, um, but we also have intramural sports as well, so um, if you, are a volleyball player and you didn't get a chance to go um, play volleyball in college, you're able to play that at Washburn, dodgeball. There's also um, a handful of other sports. So that's always really fun. Um, Student Recreation and Wellness Center at Washburn is one of the top 50 in the nation. So um, we've got a rock wall, um, we've got classes like Zumba and whatnot. And so all of that is very helpful. Um, for the residence halls, we do have four styles of residence halls, um, all suite styles. So you won't ever be sharing um, a community shower or bathroom, you'll only be sharing um, the restroom with the people that do live um, in, your, in your room. So, Our degrees and programs are housed in the College of Arts and Sciences, School of Applied Study, Business, Law, School of Nursing, and our Washburn Institute of Technology. So if you are a student here and you're interested in any of these, you're always able to hop into the chat and see if we do have a program um, that you're interested in, um, and Paige will be able to answer those. Topeka, so the capital city advantage. Um, we do, we're housed in Topeka, Kansas, um, but um, centrally located. Um, so lots of fairs um, and events um, often come to Topeka. So um, for you as a student, there's different opportunities in terms of intern internships um, or just after graduation employment. So um, with business, we have the Frito-Lay, we have Mars, Goodyear, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, all of those are able um, and willing to work with students for internships. Um, and oftentimes there are a lot of Washburn grads. So for example, we have um, Advisors Excel here in Topeka, um, and that was a company started by two Washburn grads. So they came, um, graduated from Washburn Business, started the program, and they're always willing to hire any Washburn business student. And then um, oftentimes they hire them just for employment opportunities as well. Um, if you're interested in nursing, we do have three major hospitals located all within about five minutes away. Um, so you won't have to travel super far or anything like that. So something to take into consideration and we are really known for our nursing program as well. Um, political science being in the capital city, that's awesome. And um, you get definitely tons of advantages um, and opportunities with that. Another um, program we are known for is criminal justice. So Topeka, of course, we've got the police department and then we've also got the highway patrol. And then we've also, um, in the last few years, brought on our KBI on campus. So um, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation has brought tons of different opportunities for students, whether it's for internships or employment opportunities. And um, then of course, education. So um, got seven of the Shawnee County Public Schools um, and then of course, some private schools as well. So if that's something you're interested in, we've definitely got that. Um, arts and entertainment, as I touched on at the beginning, um, got the Kansas Expo Center, we've got the North Topeka Art District, and the Performing Arts Center, and TCT, so um, always something to do in Topeka, and we've also got Forge, which is a young professional program here in Topeka, so um, if you are just someone who wants to be more a part of the community, um, wants to learn more about things going on, we definitely have that with Forge. Um, the estimated cost of attendance. So something everyone wants to know about is the cost um, tuition. So um, Kansas residents and then all the bordering states do get um, in-state tuition. So $309 right now for the tuition credit hour. Um, so if you can kind of follow the chart with me, we've got an annual tuition. Um, so depending on how many credits you take, 
it may differ, but it's about $8,652 um, for tuition. And then something that um, I'm really proud of for Washburn is our student activity fee. So at Washburn, you won't have any additional costs. It's um, tuition, room and board, and the student activity fee. So with the activity fee, you get access to parking, so no parking pass or anything like that. Um, the student rec center, which I mentioned is top 50 in the nation. Um, and then um, access to the library um, and a couple of other things um, for that price. And then listed at the bottom, you can see it everything, it's about $17,886. Um, scholarships, everyone's going to be considered for this if you have a 21 ACT and then a 3.0 GPA. So talk to your admissions counselor. And then applying for admissions. So last thing, um, you have a $20 application fee, but with the month of October, we are uh, waiving that for um, all students with the code fall 2020. Um, any questions, let us know. We are housed in the admissions office, so call us, text us, let us know what we can do. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Um, so we have a little bit of extra time. I know there are some Q&A questions being answered uh, in the chat, um, but I'm going to invite all of our reps to come back on and share just a fun tradition uh, that happens on their campus, starting with Missouri Southern University and going through, or you can answer one of the Q&A questions or both. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and answer a couple things we didn't get to, if that's okay. Um, one being our campus tours. So that's a big part of trying to figure out what school you want to go to. Um, so I'm sure everyone has at least three different options of colleges you're looking at. Um, hopefully Missouri Southern's included, but I wanted to let you know we are offering in-person tours currently, as well as virtual tours. So if you're not able or maybe not comfortable coming to campus and visiting in person, please go online and check out our virtual tours. You'll still get to see all of our dorm options available and still visit with one of our professors as well. Um, we actually have a brand new dorm opening up this fall that we are very excited about. It's called the Lion Village. Uh, so you'll also get to check out a few pictures of those, um, but that'll be opening this fall for all of our upcoming students and it'll have um, new double and suite style rooms. So just go to mssu.edu backslash campus hyphen tours, or you can search for campus tours and we will help you out. Thank you. Thanks. Um, if Fort Hayes State University has anything to chime in. Yeah, so we'll hit on a, a cool tradition that happens on our campus. So every Friday we do what's called Tiger Gold on Fridays or TGOF. Um, it's a tradition that we've done for a long time here at Fort Hayes where everybody on campus, students, faculty, staff, um, members of the community wear, wear their gold around town. Um, and, and we offer discounts to our students not only on campus, whether that's at Starbucks or our Tiger Spirit shop buying some gear, um, but all around town our students faculty, staff, anybody wearing Tiger Gold receives a, a discount, some cool perks around town. And so um, it's, it's a, a great experience to see thousands of people running around Hayes wearing their gold every single Friday. Awesome. Wichita State University. Hi guys. Um, so a couple of cool things around Wichita State is um, we do have what has been deemed the favorite tradition. Um, we have gone into the sixth year and it's a field day of sorts. So you all remember field day when we were younger, um, but it is called Clash of the Colleges. So we have eight degree bound colleges and each has their own specific color. And then they kind of battle it out and see who's going to be the best academic college for that academic year. What's really cool is that even though we have 16,000 students on our campus, we're actually deemed a medium-sized university for those um, in the Kansas area. Um, so what that means and gives us a benefit is that our deans and our faculty members participate in the events that we host on campus. So right around the beginning of school, you'll kind of hear the deans um, just kind of battling out and kind of seeing who's going to be the best academic college. There is a little trash talk, but it's all in fun. Um, but what's really cool is our deans and our professors 
professors participate in the events that are hosted on campus, and so our students can actually be doing a three-legged race or an egg toss with the dean of their academic college before they even start the first day of class. So we want to make sure that our students are getting that hands-on experience with our professors, um, and they're getting to know them on a, on a personal level, not just an academic level. We have a lot of different other things that are going on around campus. Um, we have a free YMCA membership. We have a brand new YMCA on our campus. So our students get into that YMCA and the other nine Wichita area YMCAs for free. So we have a lot of different activities and a lot of energy going on on our campus. And we can't wait for you to come and see it. Awesome. Uh, it looks like a rep from Peru State joined us. If they would like to give their presentation at this time. It looks like we have a few minutes left. Okay. All right, let me get my camera up here. So, good morning everyone. I'm Cindy Kamak. I'm the Director of Admissions at Peru State College. Just wanna make sure, is my camera view on? It looks like it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, our, I apologize, our representative um, had an emergency hospital visit, so I'm hopping in to cover for them right now. Um, Peru State is located in Southeast Nebraska, so if you're trying to figure out locations, uh, we are approximately one hour from Lincoln, one hour from Omaha, and about two and a half hours from Kansas City to give you an idea of our location. We're just located off of um, Highway 20, um, Interstate 29. Um, we are the oldest college in the state of Nebraska. If you are seeking a small college experience, you want to give Peru State a gander. We have approximately a thousand students on campus. We do not charge out-of-state tuition and we have a comprehensive offerings in education, business, psychology, criminal justice, and then a number of science majors that can prepare students for pre-health careers. Um, our science majors are biomedical science, biology, um, uh, disease and human health, and wildlife ecology. And one thing I'm very excited about is that we have a new performing arts center, which is um, giving us a great venue for our students that are looking for music, either music performance or you know, whether it's vocal or instrumental. So those are options that we have as well. Uh, Peru State is an NAIA Division I school, so we participate in the Heart of America Conference, so it's mostly schools from Missouri and Kansas that we are competing against. Um, and a few highlights, uh, we've added a few new sports programs, so if students, if you're a bowler, come check us out. We do have a brand new bowling program. We also have, in the last few years, um, added a competitive dance and a competitive cheer team. And so, and then we've got JV sports for uh, volleyball and basketball available as well. So those are some things for you to take a peek at. Um, also, if you're interested, we also have a new uh, scholarship program that's open to any student that applies to Peru State College. Uh, we have uh, our third year of our success awards. So for students, if you're applying to Peru State, um, as long as you have a GPA better than a 2.7, we're going to be offering you money to um, come join us on the Peru State campus. Uh, so that's one thing to check out. There's a calculator on our website so you can enter your GPA and figure out what type of success award that you might be eligible for. Again, we also are offering brand new some career scholarships. So if you're doing any major in education, criminal justice, or business, we also have some funding from the state of Nebraska to support students in those career areas as those are high demand areas. And if you qualify for a success award, you will also qualify for a career scholarship. And the total value of those can range up to $10,000. So just um, be sure to look at those as well. I would also encourage you to come visit campus. We are open and available for campus visits. We do campus visits Monday through Friday at, um, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and if you're a little further away or have concerns about traveling, uh, we also will do virtual visits every day at 3 p.m. So come check us out that way. Um, our web address is www.peru.edu. So come check us out and learn a little bit more about what we have to offer. Thank you. 
Yeah. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and thank you to all of our presenters. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to check out the full sign up for additional sessions. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings. Thank you all. Bye now. <laughs>